Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is a requested one. How do people from your past view you? And this could be anyone from friends, family, to people you were romantically involved with, or anyone from your past. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different number and stone. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so how do people from your past view you? You guys are coming across to these people from your past like you are living life to the fullest. Okay, you are seen to be somebody who is coming across like you are upbeat, playful, just having the time of your life. They get nothing but good vibes coming from you. At the same time, though, you have this new maturity about you. You come across like, like you have your goals and you are just like doing whatever it takes to accomplish them. Um, okay, you come across as a very determined, focused person. And with the combination of the two of these, it's like you guys are working your magic. We have the you can do magic card. So it appears as if your life flows as if by magic. You guys are also coming across like you are these classy individuals. You might be posting pics of yourself going out to fancy restaurants meeting up with different friends. In fact, the song that came through for you guys is I'm so fancy, you already know. And even the lyrics after that, you know, first things first, I'm the realist. You guys definitely come across to the people in your past like you are real, you are authentic, and you're doing you. We have such a upbeat, playful vibe coming through for you guys, though. So they really see you just like not only like living life to the fullest, but having fun with it. It's coming across that a lot of these people from your past now live at a distance from you. So I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't gauging what you're up to now by social media two things come to me as far as the relationship card goes for some of you you guys are in a relationship and these people think wow like you appear like you have the perfect relationship or marriage and for those of you that aren't in a relationship or married there is somebody in particular coming through who really wants to be in a relationship with you this person is coming across as being the opposite of you in some way. It could be like the opposite of what you usually go for, like your type, if you have a type. And for others of you, it's just, you two are very opposite. You have opposite interests, but, you know, it's not necess It's not like a deal breaker. Although, it's a general reading, so for some of you, it could be a factor that you're wondering if it's too big of a factor. And when I say that, I mean like, a cultural background difference, religious, spiritual, age gap, you know, where you two might be on the fence about this. But either way, okay, somebody who's coming across, somebody from your past who's coming across like they want to be in a relationship with you, but you two are definitely seem to be like opposites to what you normally go for. The people from your past miss you guys. And I do get the feeling that they do want to reunite with you, meet up with you, and catch up with you. And spill the tea about, you know, mutual people that you all know. And what the latest with them is. Overall, though, you guys, you come across as being these independent people. 
who don't need a man or a woman, okay? So very independent, self-sufficient, or, you know, if you're not where you want to be financially, it's like you're in the process. And just somebody who's really off doing their own thing. Some of you could be, you know, they feel like you're crushing it in life, whether you feel like you are or you're not. And there's just this feeling of wanting to catch up with you. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. It also helps support my channel. It does have to be a paid tier to get the benefits. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so how do the people from your past view you? Okay, so instantly we have Mega Babe came out. So you guys come across like a Mega Babe. Okay, they see you to be looking attractive. Okay, and if you're a guy, Mega Dude, you know. And along with that, we have, you guys appear like you've gone through a glow up. So they're like, who is this person? Look at them. They look so fine. You guys are coming across to be attractive inside as well as outside. But, you know, your personality, your vibe, your energy, all of it is just, you look like you've got it going on. And along with that, you come across like you can have anyone you want. Okay. You look like you've got it going on. Okay, so from your past, there are two people in particular that are coming through strongly. One of them is a Taurus or somebody who acts like a Taurus. Because often I pick up energetically. This person feels like you two had a lot of chemistry and passion. But it was a very short-lived connection. You both kind of feel like somebody was playing games. This is a very mirroring connection. You felt like they were. They feel like you were to a point. I'm not necessarily getting that you guys were playing games, though. It's more like this person got insecure with the connection and they sabotaged it. The other person that's coming across is a Leo. A super similar story, but, you know, the details are different. But I feel like it was a very... Like, you two are, were definitely attracted to each other it was another short-lived connection but like it was very like both connections come across like very much like fireworks and like it was mutual and it was amazing when it was good but man it was short-lived neither person has been able to get you off their mind okay you guys are seen to be like a player now with that not liter not literally like a player but like somebody again going back to you can have anyone you want so these people are like, you know, you're such a catch. You can have whoever you want. You probably get a lot of attention, get hit up a lot. They see you to be like picky or choosy. And they think after what went down between you guys, there's no way you would give this person another shot or either one of them. Like that's where they're coming from. Even though I feel like both people would like absolutely love another chance with you. I have felt instantly connected since we first met. That's like both of them. That wanted to come through strongly. One of them, or both of them, feel like you guys made a mistake. Okay, going back to the people from your past, though, everybody else, there's something you guys are doing that's, like, shocking, okay? It's like, woo, you've done a 180 from how you used to be in some area, and it's like, you're really showing up. You're giving 100. You're in a very empowered position now. You're owning who you are, your path. You're turning heads. You're inspiring others, okay? I just see you blazing down this path. And in fact, you come across like you are a go-getter, but chill. So a very driven person who's passionate about what they do. At the same time, you know, you have that laid back, I'll let loose, I'll have a good time type of vibe as well. People are just overall seeing you as being like grown up now. You know, you're like the boss of your own life. Some of you might actually be a boss. You're also trendy. You have your own unique way of doing things. So, you know, you keep it real. You keep it unique. You're, okay, Alpha 2 goes back along with what I was saying. You're coming across as real, like a boss of your own life, just a confident individual who is owning who they are, and it's really you stepping into your own power. 
Okay, group number two, that's what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. It does help support my channel and it does have to be a paid tier to get the benefits. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so how do people from your past view you? All right, right away we start off with all work and no play. So people see you guys to come across like you have a lot going on in life currently. So you are juggling a lot. This could be like work, school, a second job, a side hustle. You know, some of you it's family, classes, I said that. Work school. Okay, so you get the picture. You just have a lot of responsibilities and you're really busy. I'm getting two messages with my elements cards that have come out. So you guys are coming across like you could be an air mixed with fire. Okay, like an air and a fire sign. But I'm also getting there's an air and a fire sign who are interested in you. Okay, so yeah, from your past. Either way, though, people from your past are seeing you guys to be intellectuals who are constantly working on something, okay? So you're not just innovative people with all these inspired ideas. You actually hit the ground running and take action with these ideas. So they literally see you working on multiple projects. We have learning and teaching yourself and others. So you guys come across as the type that are self-studies. You can teach yourself things and then it's like you can teach others. So you have that gift, okay? Whether you're an actual teacher or not, of any capacity, you guys, you have this way about you where you just understand like complex concepts and then you know how to break it down for others. So you also are really good communicators. So either way, people from your past see you guys to be, they see you as being successful, busy but successful. They feel like you've really grown up too. You guys also come across as being mysterious and intriguing. So not a lot of people are sure exactly what you're up to unless they hit you up and ask you directly. So even if you're on social media, it doesn't come across like you broadcast exactly what you're up to. I do see, though, that the people from your past do want to reunite with you. Somebody from your past wonders if you both made a mistake. elusive okay that goes back to the mysteriousness yeah people can't quite get a read on you they're not quite sure what you're up to you only post like once in a blue moon my rubik's cube so again you know you come across like you just got a lot going on but people don't know exactly what there it is again you've got a lot going on you're juggling a lot <laughs> and i've got a lot on my plate right now okay so that's that's how people see you but hey, you know, you look good while doing it. Your aesthetic is on point. Okay, people see you as being stylish. You have your own unique style. You have your own unique way of doing things. And yeah, you just, you guys have a very fresh vibe to you. You make it feel like anything is possible. People feel inspired realizing that you're one of the busiest people they know. And somehow you're doing it. And you tend to maintain this positive attitude while doing it. So yeah, you know, it's really seen as being inspirational. You guys are also coming across to people from your past, like you're on the fence about something, okay? Like you're at a crossroads, you might have a big decision to make, which could really like determine the next, like the direction of your path. Okay, so as an example, like you could be debating on two different majors, okay, in college or or a trade even, just something like that. Like you're totally on the fence and you could go either way right now. That's like what's coming across. That could even be a side note if people from your past aren't aware of that. Really, people are aware of whatever you guys share with them because unlike the other two groups, I definitely feel like this group is more private and 
That's why you get so many mysterious cards, but they do know that you're busy. And that's partly why you're not posting a lot as well. We have Icy, so with that card, you know, that's just saying like, you get caught up in your own world doing your own thing. I don't necessarily get people feel you're Icy, but that can show up when people come across as being aloof, not keeping in touch. So you and the people from your past might not be keeping in touch, or if you do, again, that's once in a blue moon. So you don't, you're not really entirely sure what they're up to unless they post about it, and the same goes for you. So that's what I'm getting. Either way, people see you, like I said, what they do know about you is that you're busy, but at the same time, you come across like you're crushing it in life. They do think, though, like you need to make time for fun. But, you know, I do see that your schedule, your goals, whatever it is that you're working on does require a lot from you right now. And it will lighten up. That's just that's just how it is right now is what I'm seeing whenever you hear this because it's timeless. OK, group number three, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal reading and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. It does have to be a paid tier to get the benefits, but it does help support my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys.